someone feels extremely threatened by you, please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. First off, who cares, right? You will not be shaken. I'm just, if this is for you, I'm not trying to bring anything into your life. I'm saying this because this is a current situation you're already going through. You've already been asking for signs about this. That's what this is. This is not like, I mean, if you have to ask who this is, you, it's not for you. But the reason this is going on, that they're attacking you, hater, all of a sudden, like I think it's someone who was not a hater suddenly is you can do better that's what they know okay you have nothing to hide they're trying to make you feel like you have something to hide. no 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 you have nothing to hide let's just speak that okay there's some coercion going on here someone who they did not like your rejection you know how some people it's like they get rejected and they spend the rest of your life just angry with you trolling you can't just let it go but a lot of people aren't like that but this is someone who that's that's what it was like your person is still out there like you rejected and it doesn't have to be a person it could be a job or anything whatever but you rejected you were the rejecter <laughs> they were the rejected and look they uh, there's just so much going on here let me let me get some more cards like the main, bo the bottom line in here is please don't let this occupy your time. This is a good day. Have a great day. Do not let this interrupt your day or any other day. Distract yourself. This is someone who can only shake you if you want them to shake you. Pretending not to care. You see, that's the whole thing. Um, what I, that's what I was getting. Okay. This is like a silent attack. Okay. And I shouldn't even say attack because I don't want to speak this into your life. It's anonymous accounts or anonymous people or just stuff that you can't you know somebody thinks they're slick they they think that suddenly doing stuff behind anonymous accounts is gonna like you're not gonna fall for that you know like you can tell by the way they say things and that's just an example it doesn't have to be anonymous accounts they're the ones hiding okay they are just so angry like they don't want you to they don't want you to see how bad your rejection how bad your rejection affected them wow very petty very petty what else do you need to know oh, as soon as i say that okay okay underneath this the pettiness the jealousy you make me feel understood and i want you it started out this way this is someone who totally just flipped because they couldn't have you very immature but they're immature enough that they would block a job for you like i mean unfortunately i've known of these situations where you might live in a small town and you don't know until later that the reason you couldn't get a job anywhere is because this one person was, you know, saying bad things about you. And it wasn't even true. Maybe you just rejected them for a date or something or whatever. But people are like that. And it's unfortunate. But you don't have to be like that. We don't have to be like that. You put out positive thoughts, put out positive energy. We've been ma manipulated into thinking our thoughts are nothing. That oh, hold on. Whoa! As soon as I'm talking about thoughts, you are a deep thinker, and you need to stop worrying. Your thoughts are everything. You're bringing this in more if you're worrying about it. And I didn't know this was a real thing until last year. I I really didn't. I'm telling you what I've learned. I don't even want to talk about it because I don't want to bring that energy into my life. But if you're even giving thought to something, like, yeah, I know you think, that well, nobody can read my thoughts. It's just my thoughts. Look, if you're sitting around obsessed, constantly think, what you got to do is change your thoughts. Do something. Like, anything else, anything productive. There's so many things this is keeping you from. You have to seriously throw yourself into something else because that's all this is, is an attack to your mind. This isn't, this is someone who wants you to think they can do something to you that they can't. And I do apologize if they have done things like, because I'm telling you, I've, I've known of some stuff. Mm, I don't even want to talk about it, but I'm, I'm just going to say, I do apologize if they have cost you jobs or anything, but take this as rejection as God's protection. This is a different path for you. Like, I know you shouldn't have to be, and that's just a metaphor. It doesn't have to be this. You shouldn't have to be run out of town. You attract healthy relationships. I'll get back to that. You shouldn't have to be the one who, you know, for example, leaves town or leaves a job or moves or whatever. You shouldn't have to be, but at this point, let's manifest. It's the best thing that's ever happened to you. It will be the best thing that ever happened to you. Whatever you lost, you'll you'll gain it. Anything you'll gain it all back plus more, and you won't even miss what you lost. You won't even feel the pain anymore. Let's manifest. That happens immediately. That even that the person who's trying to do this to you, that they'll see it and know that you are protected because you are protected. Your body is healthy and strong and you are successful. 
oh, just walk on. Keep walking. Like, the body is healthy and strong. Like, own it. I don't care what the doctor tells you. Your body is healthy and strong. We speak that. You're healed. You are successful. They can't block your success. But this was an unhealthy relationship, whatever it was. Like, let's draw on the energy of healthy relationships. You are successful, and your body is healthy and strong. Look, I'm going to end with this. Like, this is just, this is trying to get you to worry. I'm telling you, these came out on purpose. All of it does, but... It's, you know, if this is someone who is very sensitive, and the most sensitive people are the ones who flip like that. You know, they act like they're not sensitive, but they're the ones because they got their feelings hurt. So they'll go there, you know, anyway, let's not speak it into your life. Let's just manifest that you keep going. This makes you stronger and that you're in a better situation immediately. You will not be shaken. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.